I'm Polly Podpesker, the Food and Nutrition Director for the Grand Rapids Public Schools. I am a registered dietitian with the school district. We are excited to share with families and the community that this year we will be serving meals to all students free of charge regardless of their family income. Up until now, some students would have to pay for their school breakfast and lunch, while other students were offered the same meals for free based on family income. We can offer all students this benefit because of a bill that was signed into law in March of 2023. The bill is for the free school meals uh, program for kids. The program starts now and runs through the end of June of 2024. And at that time, it will be renewed because the funding is a permanent appropriation. It is Minnesota state funded and it's designed to have the reimbursements for meals for paid students. Um, so this would be for students who do not qualify for free and reduced price meals. Again, that means that all students will have the benefit of participating in the school meals, breakfast and lunch programs free of charge. We anticipate that our average daily participation will increase by 30%. So if you know anyone who would like to come and work with the Food and Nutrition Department, give us a call. We are currently hiring and training new staff. Um, applicants can work on a daily basis or as a substitute. Our phone number is 218-327-5771, or you can locate our department on the school district website. Back to the legislation, this is a tremendous benefit for young families. For example, if a family has two students who eat school breakfast and lunch on a regular basis, within one year, that family will have realized a benefit of about $2,500 a year. Most of our participants are full paid students. But if you haven't participated in the program up until now and you'd like to, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Our program uh, will be using the same meal pattern requirements as in the past. We follow a specific calorie range with whole grain items, entrees, a variety of fruits and vegetables, and low-fat milk. We have had a number of phone calls inquiring on uh, just who it is exactly who can participate with this um, new legislation. And we can tell you that all of the students who are registered within the school district can participate. PSEO students who are enrolled in the high school can participate, but online virtual schools and homeschooled students may not participate, and that is in accordance with USDA regulations. Students must be enrolled in a school within the district to be eligible to participate in the program and have one school breakfast and one school lunch a day. If a student participates and they'd like to have something in addition to what they are entitled to for free, we do offer a la carte items. And the a la carte items have to be smart snack approved and they are for purchase only. Students can purchase milk or second entrees as a la carte items. But to do that, they must have funds in their school meals account. A second breakfast will cost $2.75 and a second lunch will cost $4.95.
The prices are set um, in accordance with minimums determined by the Department of Education. School districts are still required to distribute applications for educational benefits, so families in the district should complete an application and the district must continue to process the applications to determine if students qualify for free, reduced, or full-priced meals. In our department, we still claim the state and federal funds based on the student's payment type, even though all of the meals are served at no cost to the students. The school also receives very important educational dollars based on the student's eligibility. So once again, it's very, very important for families to complete the applications. If families do not complete the applications for educational benefits, the school district will not receive state and federal funding. We also uh, always welcome new ideas. So if you have ideas for us, if you have menu suggestions or just suggestions in general, please contact us. Um, at the phone number I provided earlier, or the web page, or you can email us. Thank you.